Hey, good morning, good morning everyone. I got a word to share with you to really encourage your heart and hopefully challenge you in your walk with the Lord. It's something that I ask myself every morning and I want to challenge you and ask you this. Are you living God's way or are you living your way? <clears throat> because the truth is, if we're going to live God's way, it requires surrender, fully surrendering the reins of our life to Him. And it also requires constant renewal of our mind, renewal of our faith, and trust. Of course, first and foremost, it requires faith in Jesus, at forgiveness of our sin. Then, this complete trust as we continue down His path for our lives. I love how the Bible says in Psalm 19, 7, 8, that God's way is perfect, refreshing, trustworthy, right? and enlightening. I don't know about you, but my way usually isn't any of those things. Amazingly though, God's way is not only all those things, but it also meets us wherever we are. While we all would agree that God's way is definitely perfect, it's not always easy to understand. His way will often conflict with what we just know is best in our finite minds. You know, it's in times of apparent conflict. It's th in those times, we must humbly increase our faith and better learn how to trust in the Lord. You know, the world's ways will continually do battle against trust. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 25, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body or what you will wear. The world says we will soon be hungry and naked. But God's way says in Proverbs 3, 5, that we can trust in Him with all our heart and lean not on our understanding. And when we do this, we will soon find rest and peace. And as Jesus said in Matthew 6, 33, if we will seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, all these things will be given to you as well. You know, God's way to follow Him is walking side by side with Him, no matter how great the burden. So my friends, let's stop seeking our own way with our own goals, our own desires. Instead, let's daily release these things to the guidance of the Holy Spirit and boldly follow where He leads. Let's trust and walk each and every step according to His perfect way because God's way for your life is the best possible way you can live. This is the God-first life. Are you living God's way for your life? Are you living the God-first life? It's the life God intends for you and me to live. Well, guys, just a quick word to encourage your heart today. I hope it does speak to you. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying for you.